Jen Brent, the governor opened this morning to reporters by thanking the Appropriations Committee for coming forward with their budget proposal, praising the state for being in a much better position than years past, saying Connecticut has come a long way from chronic fiscal crisis and into a surplus. But Lamont gave a warning to lawmakers today not to play games with the budget. He says lawmakers didn't share all the same priorities as his office, his budget chief calling the legislature's proposal out of balance by about $240 million. The General Assembly's budget spends about $400 million more than what Governor Ned Lamont proposed in February, putting more emphasis on health care and education and scaling back Lamont's proposed tax cuts. Today, the governor emphasizing the fiscal guardrails and spending caps recently renewed by the state legislature. If you don't like the spending caps, vote them out. But don't play games. None of these gimmicks. So that'll be something we'll be uh, discussing, I'm sure, over the next six weeks. And, uh, but my pledge to you is we're going to get an honestly balanced budget without gimmicks, with a significant tax cut for the middle class, and honoring the commitments to um, the folks most in need. And Senate Republicans praising the governor's comments today. Minority Leader Kevin Kelly saying he applauds Governor Lamont for continuing to push for a broad-based and robust tax cut for middle-class families. I also spoke with Senate Majority Leader Bob Duff. He told me the legislature and the governor aren't too far off and is confident heading into the next six weeks of budget negotiations. Jen Brent.